Rated T for teen. Now, the Empire Earth 2 experience is different from any previous RTS experience, um, both in the scope of the gameplay, the number of units you have, uh, the number of civilizations you have, the amount of time it spans, and in the features you have, the gameplay features. So with over 380 combat units, 220 buildings, 15 epics, um, time spanning from the beginning of fighting with sticks and stones, up through nuclear weapons, uh, you get a scope that just isn't matched by any other game. And in terms of the features we added in, that enhance gameplay from the citizen manager to the war planner to the picture-in-picture -picture window. Uh, we just took RTS gaming to a new level. Some of the unique things you'd find in Empire Earth 2 where a player would be playing it and say, wow, I haven't seen that before, uh, are range from the really dramatic where you first realize that it's really easy to launch nuclear missiles from your picture-in-picture -picture window to your main screen. Uh, to the more subtle where you're playing and you realize the citizen manager lets you manage all of your resources and manage your economy without ever having to look at an individual unit, pick them out and so like choose a tree to send them to. And you don't have to leave the main screen in order to do all this sophisticated management. Fans of Empire Earth 2 are definitely going to want the expansion pack, the art of supremacy. There's just too much in it to miss. The back of the box of Empire Earth 2, the art of supremacy, would highlight four new civilizations, three new campaigns, two new turning point maps, dozens and dozens and dozens of new units, and new modes including fealty where you get to make people swear their allegiance to you, tug of war where you get to fight over any number of maps, hero units which let you have a hero unit from the battle, a unit that's done particularly well. Um, become more important and stronger and it can form an army around it. And continuity, where your hero units and your leaders, both in the single player campaign and in tug of war, will persist from one map to the next. This sort of continuity that really brings the epic nature of Empire Earth to life. The new civilizations that we included with the expansion pack uh, for our new European powers, uh, the Russians and the French, uh, we created a campaign around the Napoleonic Wars. Everybody loves the Napoleonic Wars, so. Well, we also included new African civilizations and created a new future African campaign. You can play for dozens and dozens of hours using just the new units and the new civilizations. Well, every civilization in Empire Earth 2 and the expansion are different. They have different units, they have different powers and bonuses, and so you can play them different ways, play to their strengths, and so it gives the player much more flexibility in terms of finding a region uh, or a civilization that caters to the way they like to play.